Singapore Math helped teachers understand their role as a teacher. It helped them improve their content knowledge by looking at the textbooks, they understand the mathematics they teach. By looking at the textbooks, they understand the methods they should use to teach. Part 4. Addition of large numbers with regrouping. Great job! We've reached the final part of our lesson. This time, we'll learn how to add large numbers with regrouping. Let's start off by adding these two numbers, 245 and 28. Using manipulatives, we model 245 with two flats, four rods, and five units. Then we model 28 with two rods and eight units. We put these together by starting with the units, or the ones first. Five ones plus eight ones is equal to 13 ones. We have to regroup this to form one ten and three ones. So now it's time to add the tens. One ten plus four tens plus two tens equals seven tens. Lastly, we have two hundreds as two flats. What we have is two hundreds, seven tens, three ones. 245 plus 28 equals 273. This time, let's add 428 and 153 without the use of manipulatives. Align the hundreds, tens, and ones like so, and add beginning from the ones. Eight ones plus three ones equals 11 ones. Regroup this to become 110 and 11. Add the 110 to 2 tens and 5 tens to get 8 tens. Then finally, add 4 hundreds and 100 to get 5 hundreds. So 428 plus 153 equals 581. Now it's your turn. Can you add 571 and 283? Did you add the ones first? 1-1 one, one plus 3 ones equals 4 ones. Adding 7 tens and 8 tens gives you 15 tens. What are you supposed to do? That's right, regroup 15 tens into 100 Five tens. Now add all the hundreds. One hundred plus five hundreds plus two hundreds is equal to eight hundreds. So the answer is eight hundred fifty-four. Adding is easy, right? Great job! Now we know how to add large numbers with and without regrouping. Don't forget what you've learned from this video and remember to keep practicing!